Greg here, SiteEng, and welcome in today's video when I'm going to be showing you how the 2024 is looking for us engineers and for construction in general. It looks a little bit like today's weather, cloudy and a little bit cold, but we're going to have a look where to find a job, where we're going to be looking for work, how much engineers can uh, earn uh, nowadays. And uh, I'm going to also show you where I can see the future of recruitment. So let's go. Welcome to my office. So, uh, as I said, uh, construction doesn't really look great in this year, in 2024. Let's jump here and I'm going to show you a few things about it. So, the first thing is, uh, as you can see here, Henry Collapse drops bomb in bonding market. The collapse of Henry Construction has triggered a serious bonding crunch for contractors. So, uh, here in London especially, you probably heard about them. Henry Construction was a quite big company doing the reinforced concrete. I knew them uh, well. And uh, yeah, they went bust and uh, there's a lot of companies now going into administration. So the, that's the bad news. Uh, I'm going to leave the links below so you can read yourself anyway. Uh, another one, some ready construction heading for administration. That will be one of many guys, unfortunately, companies uh, going bust and uh, a lot of companies are in red as well. So you might say they might go bust very soon. Uh, look at this Armour Group. They do reinforced concrete as well. Uh, they are like a general contractor, so they do actually everything. Uh, as you can see here, uh, after recording a 6.5 million profit in the prior year. So something has happened, as I said, clouds are above us. And uh, I got some Barat Red Road deal could see 800 jobs lost. So as you can see, there are bad news for this year. Maybe next year going to be a little bit better. But uh, as I said, this year it's not the best. And if not the great big projects like HS2, Hinkley Point, Sizewell C, uh, that could be really, really bad for us uh, working in construction. So uh, where are we going to be looking for work? Uh, as always, I'm just going to jump into CV library and we're going to go quickly here to, I just typed in site engineer. I, I didn't put a location. We just want to see what's on the market. So we got site engineer 30 to 40K per annum. Uh, salary here 280 to 300 a day plus van fuel card. So that's uh, that sounds really good. Site engineer OHL, site engineer Volker Vessel, so uh, Aylesbury, Buckinghamshire, that might be, as you can see here, that's HS2 Green Tunnels. So that's Volker uh, Vessel, that's going to be a line joint venture, I imagine. You can see here, site engineer for EKFB, uh, I quickly jump on their pages as well to show you where you can look for work as well. So site engineer, so there are jobs, guys, uh, don't give up, don't lose your hope. Uh, you can see here EKFB, there are plenty of jobs here. It's not end of the world, but in general, I would say the construction looks bad. Uh, I went here also uh, for graduate and assistant engineers here. So I put assistant engineer, so you can see graduate here. There be sure training engineer 25 to 30K, not end of the world when you're starting. Graduate engineer 22 to 30, Liverpool. Graduate engineer, what else we have here? Uh, Bunbury, I uh, maybe check this one. Um, Bunbury might be actually for HS2, that would be actually the EKFB part of World there. As is the project planning. So, yeah, there are opportunities. Look at the CV library, that'll be the first step. Just upload your CV and uh, check what's there on the market. And uh, I'm just going to show you the EKFB page. This is the joint venture for big companies, IFAS, Clear, Ferrovial, and BAM. And working EKFB exceptional together. That means, so construction starts supervision, construction engineering, view jobs. So there are jobs there. Utilities coordinator, site engineer, broccoli, site engineer, land surveyor, chip in wonder, site engineer, Calvert. Uh, just keep in mind, guys, uh, sometimes these jobs are actually in the middle of nowhere, but uh, they provide you accommodation or they're actually going to pay you for accommodation. So it's not end of the world. I'm going to jump now to Align JV. So they do the C1 package now, uh, where I'm working currently on the Con Valley Viaduct. So it's a great job as well. You, it's very good to join uh, one of these projects. You can see here, as I said, uh, that's the joint venture as well between Bui Travel Public, Volker, Fitzpatrick and Sir Robert McAlpine. And uh, the last will be, I just quickly jump here on Skanska Costains Travel. So SCS joint venture, another joint venture doing HS2 works. And they got quite a lot of opportunities as well. So make sure you jump to these pages, have a look yourself. And uh, there are works out there, uh, despite uh, the clouds are over us, over construction. So the next where we're going to be looking, obviously going to be 
LinkedIn and dealing with all the recruiters and uh, I didn't have a good experience with the recruiters really. But there is a big change going guys as uh, fixed construction is here on the market. And for me, that gonna be definitely future of recruitment. So let's have a look at their page. Uh, this app as well, so you can have it on your phone. And uh, I actually spoke with the founders of uh, Fixed and no doubt in my mind that this is the future of recruitment where you wouldn't be dealing with all these recruiters. Most of them are really, I cannot say good word about them. There's few really good, don't get me wrong. I actually might leave some links below as well if you want to have a look. But uh, definitely this is the one, fixed construction. This is the future, have a look guys. And uh, yeah, that's where I'm going to be going if I'm going to be looking for work. And the development of fixed is ongoing, so it's going to be only better and better. So you guys, uh, don't lose your hope. There are still uh, opportunities out there. And uh, as you can see, uh, there's a future coming for recruitment as well. So it's going to be definitely easier for all of us finding the work and for companies finding the right candidates. So guys, I think that'll be all in today's video. Thank you again for watching and uh, please don't forget to leave the thumbs up and subscribe if not yet. And uh, as always, if you got any questions, just leave the comment below and I'm going to reply as soon as possible. So thank you again for watching and see you next time.